Good evening, everyone. We greet you with the words of the Apostle Paul. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We welcome you tonight to hymn sing number 54. Our theme tonight is storm shelters. For those of us who have lived in the Midwest, we know how important it is to have a storm shelter. When I first went to Kansas, I had never lived there, and the real estate agent, who was also the mayor, was showing me houses, and I said, boy, this is great. Every single house has a full basement. It doubles the square footage, and she looks at me, and she says, well, you know, there's a reason for those basements here. <laughs> so anyway, and you know, just like storms come in the Midwest, storms come into our lives, too. And we can be so thankful that Almighty God is a shelter in the time of storm. And that's our theme for tonight. We want to remind you, if you would, please turn off your cell phone or put it on vibrate or put it away or sit on it or something. <laughs> anyway, so we don't have uh, interruptions during the service. We invite you now during the instrumental music uh, to sit in quietness and listen to the instruments as we play. The sound of the chimes reminds us that it's time to begin.
can you get music like that? <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. How many of you are from the Midwest? Oh, yeah. Did those images on the screen kind of remind you almost like that's too much? Because <laughs> uh, that brings it right down to home. Well, we want to celebrate tonight, and uh, we will open with our scripture reading, response of scripture taken from 2 Timothy 1, 7 through 12. The Apostle Paul writes, For God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and love and discipline. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the According to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was granted us in Christ Jesus from all eternity. For which I was appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher. Sing together, it's hymn number 318. We'll sing all five verses. On the fourth verse, we will read that together. So when we get there, just be ready for that. Together, I know not when, my Lord. I know.
Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you what this place means to us, that we can come and worship you. We thank you that you do shelter us from the things that happened along the way, many things we don't even know. We just ask you to continue be, to be with us as we offer our praise and thanksgiving to you in song and in word, and just commit this evening to you. Amen. We again want to welcome you, and tonight we want to especially welcome those who are watching in other places. Uh, we know that uh, many people are tuned in, and we want to give a special welcome also to those who will be watching us in future days uh, when they bring up the hymn sing on their computer to watch the recording from tonight. We received a report from YouTube, and I'd like to read you a list, and I want you to listen to this very carefully. You ready? Okay, put your good listening ears on. That's the kindergarten teacher speaking. <laughs> we know there are people who listen in lots of different states in the United States. The United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, Ireland, Germany, New Zealand, Portugal, Brazil, Singapore, Nigeria, the Philippines, Mexico, France, Barbados, Vietnam, India, Aruba, the Netherlands, Hungary, Romania, Gambia, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, and Sierra Leone. That's where we have people watching. Now I want to tell you, I am not a person who's easily surprised, but that surprised me. It really and truly did. I thought that was just amazing. And we give the glory to the Lord, and we're glad that People enjoy it and are joining in with us. We want to thank those tonight and make you aware of who helped us. In just a moment ago, we were led in prayer by Menno Harms. Uh, in just a few minutes, Albert Pauls is going to be giving us the devotional. Randy Jansen, our brother, is here to sing tonight. Uh, Bob Plett, of course, our song leader. And Helga Med is filling in at the piano over here. Uh, the Snells were going to be away, and so we replaced her, and, but then they didn't go after all. So, Anyway, we just left it how it was. We want to especially thank those who have helped us. In case you're watching this some other time, we're coming to you from the town of Reedley, California. It is near Fresno. So if you want to look us up on the map, uh, that's where we're located. So as we go on singing, Brother Bob, come and lead us. Next hymn is taken from 436. There are three verses. The women will sing on the second verse and the men on the third verse. And then we're going to just uh, transition into to, uh, hiding in thee and just sing that refrain. So let's sing together under his wings.
have a tendency to do this. <laughs> okay, we're going to uh, the responsive uh, scripture again, and this is Psalm 91, verses 1 through 4. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, For it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his wings, and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a lord. Thank you. Around 10 p.m. on the night of May 4, 2007, the little town of Greensburg, Kansas, was almost completely destroyed by a massive EF5 tornado. With sustained winds of over 200 miles per hour. Of the 1,500 people who lived there, only 11 were killed and another 70 injured. Because several tornadoes had been spotted earlier in the evening, the sirens began sounding 20 minutes before the big one actually struck the town. Of those people who took shelter in basements, almost all survived, while those in less protected areas were killed or injured. Grandparents Harold and Sarah Schmidt were in their basement when the tornado lifted up their house turned it around and blew a pickup truck into the basement, killing Harold. Sarah rebuilt their home and testifies to others of God's care and faithfulness. She says, I won't live in the past and I don't dwell on what I've lost. Her husband's Bible was the only thing she was able to save from the rubble of their home. While most of us will never experience the total destruction of a Midwest tornado, each of us will experience storms in our lives. The truth is that most of us have already experienced multiple storms. Pastor G.F. Henley refers to these experiences as personal earthquakes in the lives of Christians. Because we belong to the Lord, we have the privilege of preparing in advance for these life-shattering experiences. We don't have to wait until the sirens are sounding and things begin to fall apart. In the verses we just read from Psalm 91, we are reminded that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the and that God's faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. As we consider storm shelters this evening, may we truly build our lives on the solid rock of Christ and allow him to prepare us for the inevitable storms of life. Thank you, Al, for sharing that. Just after the tornado hit in Greensburg, a friend of mine and I went down there to look at it. It was unbelievable. And just almost everything was gone. Uh, I talked to the pastor of the church, uh, the Mennonite church there, Pastor Jeff Blackburn. And he said, uh, my family and I were in the basement. And coming back up into the house, we could see stars. And so we knew there was no house there at all. About two years after that, uh, I went with the Kansas Mennonite Men's Chorus because I was their accompanist, and we went to sing in their new church. Now, we didn't sing for an audience because the chorus completely filled the church. In fact, we overfilled it. But they were smart. Their basement stayed put in that church. And so they built their church right on the same basement. But he said, 
we figured out a better floor plan, one that would work better, so they reconfigured the upstairs part and did a great job. But what we learn from these things is what Al just said. The Lord is our shelter. He's our rock. And when these things come into our lives, yeah, they're harmful, they're hurtful, they shake us up, but they don't wipe us out. The Lord gives us grace to continue. And I'm thankful tonight that we can know that the Lord is our shelter, for sure. All right, let's sing Heavenly Sunshine.
prepared for you. Now we would like to give you the chance to pick songs if you find the number that you like in the green hymnal. We are not standing on ceremony. You can't be polite. You just say the number. And with any luck, I will say the title so that the people who are watching outside of here that don't have a hymnal will know what song we're singing. All right, who's ready? 96. Okay, I heard 96 and then something else. 96. The song is God Will Take Care of You. Four twenty two. See, I was close. Four hundred twenty two. The song is Trusting Jesus. Be thou my vision. I'm going to lower the key just a little bit. sing one verse so that we can sing lots and lots of different songs. If you want something other than the first verse, be sure to tell me. Let's go to this side. Come on, friend. Say it again. 364. 364. The song is Come All Christians Be Committed. Has the next one? 
song is Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us. Uh, friends, let's sing it unaccompanied and sing all those parts. singing part. Someone else? 386, 386 just because we're so close. Then we'll come back. 386. Jesus, Savior, pilot me. Jesus, Where he leads, I'll follow. Here we go. Sweet are the promises. Okay, 428, then the other one. 428. Anywhere with Jesus, I can safely go. Now, my rule is, <laughs> if I don't know this song, you have to direct it. But I'm in a pretty good mood tonight, so we'll do our best. I don't know why. I don't think I... Bob, do you know this song? You come, on, come on up in the pulpit and you direct it, because I have no clue.
got it. Let's do it again. Yeah, Let's do it again. And for those listening that don't know it, it's called None But Jesus Would I Have to Guide Me. Okay, here we go. Ready? None but Jesus would I have to put on the spot, you know. All right. We know he's a pro. He can do it. Who's ready with the next one? Seven? seven? Ninety-seven. Okay. Nine-seven. Are you just trying to find songs I don't know or what's going on here? All right. The title is God is My Guide. Sort of. All right, who else has one? 96. Did we already do that? Okay, let's do verse 3. Is that okay? Let's do verse 3. God will take care of you, verse 3. Here we go. Ready? No matter what. to the far wall. Is there anybody over there who has one? I don't want to miss you. If anybody does, just shout it out. Okay, nobody. Sam, can you see anybody over there? Okay, I don't think so. All right, someone else. Okay, I heard 12 different things. One that started with three. 327. 327. Okay, that's going to be it. Was it, was 327 right? Okay, we'll start with that one. Then we'll go to the next one. It is well with my soul. something? 363. 363. Okay, I was close. 363. The title is Channels Only.
right, number 204, and then we're going to have the special music. The song is Spirit of God, Descend Upon My Heart. tonight for us to have Brother Randy Jansen to minister in song. Most of you already know he's the minister of music of the Reedley Mennonite Brethren Church. And I heard a rumor. Are you the incoming conductor of the men's chorus? Uh, I think that's what I heard as well. Okay. So he's the new conductor of West Coast Mennonite Men's Chorus. Tonight, I just especially wanted this song, Till the Storm Passes By. In the dark of the midnight, I have oft hid my face, while the storm howls above me, and there's no hiding place. Mid the crash of the thunder, precious Lord, in my cry, keep me safe till the storm passes by. Till the storm passes over, till the thunder sounds no more, till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast, let me stand in the hollow of thy hand. Keep me safe till the storm passes by. Those tornadoes, I've seen a few of them, and they look exactly like those pictures. Yeah, because and people out there don't want to live out here because of the earthquakes. Right. But, but what I always say about tornadoes is they predict them within to just like two, three minutes because they follow it. You can, when you live back there, you watch on the bottom of your television, it says, if you live in such and such a town, go into your basement at 525. If you live in the next little town, 535. And they kind of know. Have you heard anybody predict the earthquake like that? <laughs> I don't think so. 
and you can't get away from them in your basement either. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's go back to picking songs. Who's ready? Number four? Yes. All right, number four. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Let's sing it without the piano. Here we go. story. I played for a little church out in Orange Cove this morning, and they have a little pipe organ, and they have chimes up above the organ. But I learned the hard way that not all the chimes work. <laughs> but I got it figured out. You can play if you play in D flat. So this morning, I played holy, holy, holy just on the chimes in the key of D flat, and it worked. I didn't have any missing notes. Missing notes are like a missing tooth. They're, they're not helpful with that. Anyway, I don't know why. That just reminded me of this song. Who else is ready? 610. The song is, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. Here we go. I will sing. Okay, I heard 278, then I'll come back to the other one. 278. The song is, And Can It Be That I Should Gain. Great Wesley hymn. get to heaven. Okay, sing parts. Here we go. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. Yeah. 
forget those little after beats, you know, when we just sing from screens these days. We forget all You can't put that on a screen very well. <laughs> kind of tricky. Okay, someone else. 313, was that right? 313. Song is Blessed Assurance. <laughs> Do you care what verse? Okay, first and last. I'll go for that. All right. Song is One Day. Someone else. 374. Was it 374? Yes. Okay. 374. The song is Have Thine Own Way, Lord. life-changing decisions while that song was being sung. Okay, was the song 360? Did I hear that? Okay, 360. The song is I Would Be True.
verse 4. Wonderful song, isn't that? Now I have a question. What hymn story do you think I'm going to tell tonight? Now just think. The theme is storm shelters. Hello? Shelter in the time of storm. Okay. So, turn in your book to 317, if you would. 317. I want to tell you the story of this song. This hymn has something of a convoluted history. Uh, it has evolved over the years from its original form. Kind of like our lives, huh? We have kind of a convoluted history. We, we change over the years. The words were written by Vernon Char uh, John Charlesworth. Isn't that an interesting name? Vernon John Charlesworth. He was born in England in 1838. He was fr from a family of ministers not associated with the Church of England. That's important. When you have a state church, which is basically the Episcopal Church. But these were free churches that were not part of that. In 1860, he was married to a lady named Eliza Moore. And they had nine children together. He served both as a minister and as the headmaster of Charles Spurgeon's Stockwell Orphanage. He was also a preaching elder at Spurgeon's Metropolitan Tabernacle in London. That's an important church, if you know anything about the movement of evangelical churches. And guess what? The Metropolitan uh, Tabernacle in London is still there, still going strong. And they sing only with a pipe organ. Well, it's kind of boring to me. I mean, you know, you can do some that way, but they need to, to do something else. But anyway, that's, that's off the subject. The words to this song were written around 1880, and they were, get this, they were sung to an unknown tune uh, by some fishermen on the north coast of England when storms often pounded their little fishing boats and they were trying vainly to get to shore. And that's just the first part of the story. So they're singing Shelter in the Time of Storm because they were hoping and praying that they could get into port with their books. Okay, Iris Sankey, you ever heard of him? Yeah. All right. He was the music director for Moody, for D.L. Moody. So Sankey has written lots and lots of songs. Well, he came to England. He was going to lead the music for a series of evangelistic meetings being led by D.L. Moody. Now, I don't know if Sankey got on one of those fishing boats or what happened, but he heard this song. He, however, disliked the strange minor melody that these fishermen were singing. So he composed a new tune, the one we use today, and he added the chorus. It didn't have the chorus. You know, Jesus is the rock and the weary. It didn't have that part. It just had the verses. And he started using that song in D.L. Moody's meetings. And then it was first published in 1885. Now, friends, this song speaks to our hearts as Christians because it reminds us of the Bible's promises that the Lord is our rock, our shelter, our defense, our shade, our safe retreat, our refuge, our helper, and everything else. And every one of those titles are centered directly on the person of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you agree? Yeah. All right. Isn't it a blessing to know tonight that we can confidently sing for sure that the Lord Jesus is our shelter in the time of storm? Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Let's sing together.
your heart resonates with it, that God is our shelter tonight. Amen. As we come to the conclusion of this evening's service, we want to say thank you to everyone who has helped us, and thank you especially for coming and singing enthusiastically. Our next hymn sing is, of course, on the third Sunday of September. It's the 16th, and the theme that night is Only One Life. Can you say this little poem with me? I bet you can. Only one life twill soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. And you can just be sure we will be singing that and talking about it next time. We want to thank those who helped us, Brother Menno Harms for leading us in prayer, Al Pauls for the devotional, Brother Randy Jansen for singing, thank you so much, our Brother Bob Plett reading the scriptures and leading our singing, Mary Jane Dick on this piano, Helga Med on this piano, we appreciate it so much. Our visuals, as always, are masterfully done by John and Norma Lowen. Our sound is being done by Jonathan Lehrman there at the back. Ushers, our brother Don Beckenauer and his team. They're the best. And our YouTube director back there, Mr. Drew Maddox, who keeps this whole thing going with all these cameras and the internet and all that stuff. So we appreciate it very much. If you want to find Palm Village Hymn Sing on the internet, that's all you have to put in. Palm Village Hymn Sing. And all the past ones will come up. At least most of them. Anyway. And encourage other people to watch it too. I'd like to get some more countries by our next one. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I think 25 was quite a few. Anyway, when we leave tonight, if you're able, would you take your book back to the cart? If you're not, just leave it and someone else will take it for you. And would you please leave extra time for those in wheelchairs and walkers? All right, Brother Bob, come and lead us in the closing. Our benediction tonight is taken from 2 Corinthians 13, 14. Let's say it together. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.